Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Gamer Shadow. If you enjoy watching this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Videos would be uploaded regularly every week on this channel, so keep watching. In the last video, we saw how Deacon cleared the ambush camp near O'Leary Mountain safe house. In today's video, I would be playing further into the story to find Leon's stash and do more missions for Copeland's camp in order to get the bike restored quickly. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's choose the next mission. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Remembers the skid rows in this great country. People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country, only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all hopeless now in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds would never let give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's great! Yeah, Radio Free Oregon is on the air once again! Oh god, what have I done? Let's get rid of these freaks. Gotta take a closer look. All oh, right, what have we got? <laughs> Still got this. Okay, let's take a look around. All right, where? Gotcha. This is it. Oh, what the hell happened here? I oh, no. wonder if they left anything worth the effort. You're mine now. Deke! Oh, god damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out the shit. What's going on, Cope? Okay, uh, you were saying? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Man, he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find them. Nitrous boosting. You can't boost without equipping your bike with nitrous. Purchase an upgrade at any encampment mechanic. Once equipped, press button while on your bike to boost. Like that? Hey, D, over there. I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp. Clear out those nests. I see more freaks up here. 
Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Deke. Uh, Deke, wait till tonight. Be fewer freaks inside those nests. Or take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. Let's clear out the infestation. Freaker infestations. Freaker infestations are highly dangerous areas where freakers congregated to build their nests to hibernate during the day. Burn all nests in an infestation to clear a path for fast travel. Where is it? God damn nest, that's gotta be close. <laughs> One down, two more to go. Let's burn Alvarez's corpse. Yeah. Rest in peace. They can't get you now. Mission complete. There has to be a nest in this area.
Two down, one more to go. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Gotta take a closer look. Which way? Uh, maybe in one of these. Man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It just buzzed right over me. It acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, all this time the chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, D. Stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Nero soldiers and researchers wear special armored hazmat suits and are immune to your attacks. Binoculars and marking. Toggle the binocular and aim at enemies to mark them. Marking enemies makes it easier to follow their movements. Tracked human enemies will display their awareness levels. Zero, zero, zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of 
five to six hundred. We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. Is that us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson, your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking O'Brien. Can't you hear me? Over 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. But they're sleeping like babies. No, no. And I asked if you were going in. Didn't say I was. These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like it was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was Fubar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Seal the caves. Yeah, right. Like anyone gives a damn. Bushes. I gotta get to the bushes. There's the last nest. How much longer do you think we got? How the hell do I know? We'll bug out when the docks finished. Mission complete. Residue bolt. Residue bolts cause enemies to turn on each other. Try using them to wreak some havoc.
Let's get rid of the last nest. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. The Nero, the soldier. Book Sarah. Mission complete. Pioneer Cemetery infestation cleared. We had an ID badge. What? Shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. I went into their LZ, and they. Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the? Just listen. I heard all the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Not Boozer, I'm not. I'm just. Okay, uh. Get some sleep. Deacon out. Boozer, you there? Um, yeah, Deacon. Take care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, brother. She did the same for us. for me is all. I know you ride with him. Tried to radio him. Can't seem to reach him. When you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. I would much appreciate it. Cope and out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe her lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. Let's check for scraps and other materials. I can use this.
scrap. the hell. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men, they'll shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus. Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. Let's grab some fuel. Let's take a look around. What do we got? There you are. This seems like a trap.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't yet subscribed or new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get new video notifications. Stay tuned.